MMA fighter Kimbo Slice died on Monday, 6 6 16. His death on Monday at the age of 42, Kevin Kimbo Slice Ferguson was diagnosed with congestive heart failure. It was determined that he was in need of a heart transplant. Kimbo was a street fighter and bodyguard who gained notoriety on YouTube. This fame catapulted him into the MMA and movies. His death was in close proximity to Muhammad Ali, who passed away on 6-3. The official story is that Kimbo had an enlarged heart and needed a heart transplant. However, he was next scheduled to fight Ken Shamrock, who was known as the world's most dangerous man. The Shamrock is a young spring clover and Ireland's patron saint, St. Patrick, is said to have used it as a metaphor for the Christian Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Interestingly enough, Kimball's death occurred only a few days prior to the observance of Pentecost, the day the disciples received the Holy Spirit. Kimball's death can also be connected to the death of the nation and the terrible things that are about to begin to happen on earth. Luke 21 26 declares, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Kimball was born Kevin Ferguson. His death on 6 6 16 connects his death with the number 666. His name connects him with the Ferguson riots, the vicious murder of Michael Brown, and the subsequent chaos that situation caused, bringing this nation closer to death's door. The shooting of Michael Brown occurred on August 9th, 2014 in Ferguson, Missouri a northern suburb of St. Louis. Brown, an 18-year-old black man, was fatally shot by Darren Wilson, a white Ferguson police officer. St. Louis is also connected to the Horn Goat God through the professional American football franchise that was known as the St. Louis Rams from 1995 through 2015. June 10th, 2015, a concert in Orlando at the Plaza Live ended in the death of another former YouTube star, Christina Grimmy. As we come on the air tonight, investigators are trying to understand why a heavily armed man opened fire on a young pop star just as she finished what would become her final performance. Christina, Christina Grimmie, rising to fame on The Voice, was signing autographs when she was shot. This photo of the singer and a fan believed to be one of her last. Police now say the shooter traveled to Orlando with the intent to kill. Christina Grimmie was also a former finalist on NBC's The Voice. According to Orlando police, Grimmy and Before You Exit, the band that headlined the show, stayed after the show was over. At about 10.30, there were reports of gunshots at Plaza Live. Grimmy was shot and died of the injury she suffered. The suspected killer, Kevin James Loibel, then shot and killed himself. When we take a look at the meaning of these names, a message appears. Christina means a Christian, a follower of Messiah. Grimmy comes from Grim. It means to be relentlessly severe and forbidding, to be stern and unsympathetic, from Grimma, which means mask and helmet. Remember, Christina was a finalist on The Voice. This is a reference to the voice of the Archangel calling followers of Christ together at the Harpazo. This is found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 through 17, which declares, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, 
and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Christina was with the group before you exit when she was killed. Before you exit means prior to leaving or departing. Again, a reference to the children of God being taken out of the way of the destruction that is coming upon the earth. Kevin means beautiful and birth. James comes from Jacob, which means Israel. Loyobom means a descendant of Leopold. The first part of Leopold is related to the Latin word Leo, meaning lion. This is a reference to the lion of the tribe of Judah. The second part is of Germanic origin and means brave and bold. Therefore, the message is as follows. The followers of Messiah shall become relentlessly severe and forbidding, stern and unsympathetic, very great and intense, Spartan-like. We will remove our masks and drop all pretense to don our helmets. The voice of the archangel shall be heard before we depart. This will be the beautiful birth of the children of Israel, the descendants of the Lion of Judah, who are brave and bold. Praise Yah. June 12th, 2016. 50 people were killed at a shooting in a gay nightclub in Orlando. 2 a.m. on Sunday morning, a gunman opened fire inside of Pulse, a gay nightclub in Orlando, Florida, killing 50 people and injuring dozens of others. The suspect was identified as Omar Mateen of Port St. Lucie, Florida. Omar comes from Amar, which means to speak. Amar is also connected with the heart and therefore means to speak from the heart. Mateen means powerful and strong. The meaning of the name Omar Mateen can be translated as follows. Speak from the heart words that are powerful and strong. Supposedly, the gunman's father recalled that his son got angry when he recently saw two men kissing in Miami. His father said this incident might be related to the attack. Now that you have heard the media's propaganda, allow me to draw back the veil and uncover the truth behind this event. This was an orchestrated event that is connected with the Jewish holy day of Shavuot, and this assertion can easily be proven. Shavuot began Saturday, June 11th at sundown and continues until Monday, June 13th at sundown. Shavuot is also called the Feast of Weeks and it is the day that commemorates the anniversary of the day God gave the Torah to the entire Israelite nation assembled at Mount Sinai. The term Torah means instruction and offers a way of life for those who follow it. The Torah consists of the five books of Moses which embodies the law of God the struggles of God's people, our covenant with God, and our moral and religious obligations. This also includes the laws concerning homosexuality like Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13 which declares, If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. This event occurred at an LGBT nightclub during Shavuot, which is a commemoration of the giving of Torah, which includes laws against homosexual behavior. The incident was orchestrated to garner sympathy for the LGBT community and to silence critics who, because of religious convictions, oppose the increasing 
homosexual agenda being pushed across America. This push is being led by none other than President Obama. It is now our generation's task to carry on what those pioneers began. For our journey is not complete until our gay brothers and sisters are treated like anyone else under the law. For if we are truly created equal, then surely the love we commit to one another must be equal as well. For me personally, it is important for me to go ahead and affirm that uh, I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. Let's dig a bit deeper because there is much more to be discovered. On Passover, the people of Israel were freed from their enslavement to Pharaoh. On Shavuot, they were given the Torah and became a nation committed to serving God. Previously, we have discussed the fact that Obama is the American Pharaoh who is hell-bent on indoctrinating the country and infecting the world with his amoral antichrist agenda designed to enamor the people with the fruits of their sinful lusts, thereby enslaving them in death, effectively preventing them from serving God in any meaningful capacity. The word Shavuot means weeks, and the festival of Shavuot marks the completion of the seven week or 49 days of counting the Omer between Passover and Shavuot which is the 50th day. Interestingly enough, the name of the man accused of the shooting is Omar. The name Omar is just a variation of the name Omer, which is the counting of weeks for Shavuot. Shavuot is also called Pentecost since it occurs 50 days after Passover. Remember, there were 50 people killed in this incident by Omar during this orchestrated event, connecting it to the 50 days of counting the Omer and Pentecost. During Pentecost, the disciples were gathered together in one place and they were given the Holy Spirit. This can be found in Acts chapter 2, verse 1 through 4, which declares, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. In like manner, these LGBT individuals were also gathered together in one place on one accord. Unfortunately, instead of being given the breath of life, they received death instead. Look at that, they're shooting back and forth. Look at this. This is directly connected to the name of the club they were in, which is called Pulse. When a heart stops beating, it no longer has a pulse. The cessation of a pulse marks the beginning of death. This is symbolic to what is occurring to America. She no longer has a pulse. Her heart has stopped beating, and it is only a matter of time before she is pronounced dead. However, for those who turn away from the evil machinations of this wicked generation and decide to give their lives to God, there is hope. In Ezekiel 18, 31, Yah declares, cast away from you all transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit for why will ye die, O house of Israel? Ezekiel 36, 26 through 28 also declares, A new heart also will I give you, 
and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh, and I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments, and do them, and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. If you have allowed your relationship with the Most High to flounder and die, now is the time to revive it, that you may be given new life, a new heart, and be filled with the Holy Spirit. This change must be made before you take your final breath, before your heart beats its last beat, and you no longer have a pulse. Amen. Shalom.